They were in high school when they met And things got kind of awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh Hey you! And welcome back to my channel Or welcome if you're new here Today I'm back with another cottage build in Hanford on Bakey. This time I made room for a whole family and I also wanted to make room for one of the bigger stables so it would be possible to either have a cow or a llama on this lot. Now I chose to try the brown cow for the screenshots but I do think the llamas look really cute too. Now as for the building progress, I have had a few struggles throughout this build, picking out some of the items and colors, but in the end I I do think I'm happy with the result. This house however is still quite small, but that is what makes it cozy in my opinion. The downstairs area has some small rooms that I made into a living room, a dining room and a kitchen. And it also has a small bathroom with a shower for a little s and for the little side entrance I actually made it into a little laundry room. I didn't really have anywhere else to put the laundry machines, but if you don't like to play with laundry at all, it should still look really nice as just a simple mud room and a second hallway when you remove the machines and the hamper. As for the upstairs, I ended up with three bedrooms and a bathroom. Everything is still on the smaller side here as well, but it should be big enough to function properly of course. I ended up decorating one of the smallest rooms for a toddler and the biggest room of course is a master bedroom and then the medium sized bedroom I actually made into a twin kids room. However it should still be able to function perfectly for teens as well. It has just a bunk bed and two small desks with some toys around in the room as well. Now as for the outside I did build this house on a 30 by 20 lot and as you might have noticed already I decided to build the house on one side of the lot. I usually don't really like it when a lot has its longest side facing t towards the street because I always struggle to make a practical garden this way. But for this build I decided to try something else by putting the house all the way on the side of the lot uh, like I've done here. And then just building the garden on whatever is left over on the other side. And this way I actually got a lot more space to make it feel more like a mini farm. Even I even had enough space of course for that little stable there. Otherwise it would have just been another chicken coop I guess. So even though a lot placed like this still isn't my favorite. But I do think this way is kind of fun to try out some new things and make the most out of the space that I have. As for the rest of the garden, I did place a few flower pots and a beehive and two of those bug hotels from Eco Lifestyle. And as for the rest of the garden, it is kind of just decorative, but that is just the way how I like it personally. This does of course mean that there is enough room for you to experiment with other activities if you would like. For example, if you would remove the cars, you could easily turn that corner into a play area for the kids. Or even more farmland or maybe even build a greenhouse. There's just still a lot of room left, even with the debug items that I placed. Now for me, I just chose to place the cars because I still like that little bit of realism. And I haven't used these cars that came with uh, cottage living. That is what the pack is called, right? <laughs> I'm starting to struggle to keep all the parts pack apart. But um, yeah, those cars came with the debug items with that pack. And I really wanted to use them somewhere. But now that I'm looking at it, it might not make perfect sense on how I've placed the cars in the driveway since it is literally going straight to a stairway. But yeah, I didn't really think about that when I was building. Plus, the cars aren't really usable anyway, so a little imagination now and then won't really hurt either. So I'm just gonna keep it like this because it looks nice, but 
Yeah, those stairs make it a bit unnatural, of course. Now with that said, I don't think there's much more to mention about this build. I have not placed many activity items this time, but like I said, there's still a lot of room left outside to try out some new different stuff. Uh, the inside of the house is still a bit too small to, I don't know, make room for a grand piano or I don't know. I don't even think I would have fitted in a chess table right now, but yeah. You can of course try out some of that to yourself. But for now, I think I just will turn on some music for you for the rest of the video. If you want to download this build, then you can find it under the gallery under my username SerafinaYT. And that is also the hashtag that I use for this build. And the hashtag Serafina creates. You can also find it linked down below if you find that easier including some more specific information about this build, like the cost and all that. I do of course hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did that you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe for more videos and turn on those notifications so we, you will be notified whenever I post something new. Thank you so much for watching and I do hope to see you next time. Bye bye! in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class and she would try to act cool but it was obvious like ooh, they would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh baby I only want you it's true and then he said I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang, she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight as they kept on dancing mm -mm -mm. and now they're singing their love song and they sing it kind of beautiful calling each other sweetheart i promise nobody can get in their way or steal the show they're in love now, and I wanted you to know I feel it coming, I feel it taking control It's the hurt I imagine from us to nothing there's something missing you stole And it's a little tragic I know I'm better off Living without your love But time on again my thoughts go back to when We were crazy kids with a lot of feelings I'm Too proud to beg and too numb for stealing When I rode with you it was all down here Oh, 
Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds Because without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me, until you set me free My eyes were closed, now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high I can see the sun staring at you when you make that smile I'm moving closer to you now I can't get close enough somehow And I was down Until you saved me Until you set me free My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high
Feels like I can fly I don't need anybody, I don't need anybody else No one will ever take me, no one will ever take me away from you I promise I will hold on to you I don't know what I'd do without you Take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high Feels like I can fly You can take me high
me in. 